advocating for our children when it comes to communicating with the state. Um, but my question is for third graders. Can you hear me? Okay, all right. Um, it states in our student progression plan and also in the state code directory that a report card could be used for a good cause exemption in order to minimize paperwork. Um, why aren't principals, teachers, and the district following its own plan and using report cards if the child is on grade level um, in order to, to meet that rather than doing a, a 51 document portfolio? I think you email. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know the emails that come in. <laughs> probably going to go out tonight as far as the response, uh, but yes, the report card can be used um, as a way to show grade level performance, and, and I think you, you may or may not mention, we also look at uh, our diagnostic um, tools like iReady um, at, the, at that third grade level. We also look at um, uh, performance in the classroom by the, by the, uh, the, the teacher's assessment, which is a report card. So you're going to get a very detailed answer probably yeah. by tonight. If you know later by tomorrow. It's okay. Yeah. I know you didn't have a lot of yeah. time to respond, but I, I thought I might get clarification in person. And will this be clarified and, and directions be? Yeah, so we, we, we had a couple um, uh, webinars with our principals regarding uh, the portfolio. We knew this was going to come up, uh, and, and, and we just reiterated the guidance that we've had before. We have been promoting it among me, um, providing the details on what the um, uh, portfolio and other alternative options look like, especially with this year. Um, but I think it has been inconsistent with the level of trickling down to the teacher level. So we're going to continue to emphasize the guidelines that we have. Okay. 